Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, we have prices mixed overnight with beans up a couple of cents, um, soybean meal uh, about unchanged while soybean oil is down. Corn and wheat are lower uh, in Chicago. Minneapolis wheat is a little bit higher. Stock markets opening up a little bit better. We've now seen the dollar turn lower and crude is lower and now um, at about, about 81 dollars for uh, crude oil. As far as uh, today's markets, we'll be looking at export sales. Wheat somewhere between 200 and 500,000 tons versus 362 last week. Corn 800 to 1.3 million tons versus 1.3 last week. And beans 1.2 versus 2.8, 1.2 to 2 billion versus 2.8 last week. We have seen uh, freight markets in the world, especially uh, the <clears throat> dry index down sharply. And it's also affecting Panamax prices. This has uh, contributed to the possibility that overnight China might have bought six cargo to U.S. soybeans, both PNW and Gulf, for November and December, and three to five cargoes of Brazil. We have noted that China's policy on trying to bring down coal prices and allow Australian coal vessels to be unloaded, has dropped uh, coal prices uh, significantly in uh, China, which uh, also may be weighing on the crude oil market. China also cracked down on a, uh, excessive speculative trading in energies and commodities, and that might be pressuring uh, the commodity indexes here. China's meal trade was very aggressive yesterday, 650,000 tons, suggesting uh, hog margins are improving there. And uh, soybean oil continues to follow lower crude oil, and the Chinese increase in COVID cases may slow some of their import demand. The Matif rapeseed is slightly lower, but making a new weekly contract high, while the Canadian uh, uh, canola futures are making some all-time highs. Corn futures um, yesterday rallied on some talk about better ethanol demand, uh, maybe uh, a slowdown in the U.S. harvest, and uh, also uh, talk that uh, all in all, um, we might see a five to 600 million bushel increase in total corn demand due to higher ethanol margins, higher ethanol demand, and maybe higher export demand. That would put the carry out maybe below a billion bushels versus the government's 1,500. It has some people thinking that March corn will trade over $6. We also noted that um, the EU, uh, like US, and even Brazil is talking about lower 22, 2022 corn acres due to higher fertilizer price. In Europe, they may switch to beans and spring barley. Black Sea corn futures were higher. Um, and we also noted that the higher US futures uh, weighed on Ukraine uh, premium levels. It's interesting to note that the new crop November, December, uh, Ratio is, is new low at 2.25, which would suggest less corn acres. We also know that Egypt yesterday bought wheat, uh, Romania, Russia, Ukraine, at around $360 a ton. Uh, that's higher than the previous one. And uh, from the month of October, KC wheat has rallied about uh, 50 to 60 cents. So the markets are mixed and uh, have a good trading day. And remember, treat people like you yourself like to be treated.